Deep beneath the ocean's surface, U.S. Navy sailors operate some of the most advanced vessels ever built, submarines. These vessels are capable of plunging to depths exceeding 1,000 feet, where the crushing force of the ocean is relentless. But before earning the title of submariner, every sailor must first conquer one of the Navy's most demanding training grounds, the Naval Submarine School. Here, the Navy builds the foundation for both officers and enlisted personnel to master the skills required to operate and maintain submarines safely and effectively. The Naval Submarine School was officially established in 1917, beginning more than a century of undersea training in Groton, Connecticut, known as the home of the submarine force. During drills, sailors wear the Submarine Escape Immersion Equipment, or SEIE suit, designed to keep them buoyant, insulated, and safe during ascent and surface survival. Inside the classrooms and simulators, trainees study submarine safety, escape procedures, shipboard organization, and damage control, critical knowledge that prepares them for life beneath the waves. Those selected for the Navy's nuclear propulsion program continue on to the Naval Nuclear Power Training Command where they learn to manage and operate the reactors that power the Navy's nuclear submarine fleet. One of the school's most specialized facilities is the Pressurized Submarine Escape Trainer, or PSET. A 37-foot deep water column where students practice escaping from a simulated disabled submarine under realistic conditions. Beyond escape training, submariners also learn to fight one of the most dangerous threats at sea, fire. They face realistic scenarios involving electrical, fuel, and Class A fires inside smoke-filled compartments that test decision-making and teamwork under pressure. Each crew member trains with self-contained breathing apparatus to operate safely in toxic or low oxygen conditions. You two, next you're gonna be on this vertical pipe, so on and so on. Another essential course, the damage control wet trainer, simulates flooding and structural failures. There you go. Here, trainees learn to locate and seal leaks using wooden plugs, metal shoring, and emergency patches, skills crucial for survival in a submerged vessel. Graduates of the Naval Submarine School join the U.S. Navy Submarine Force, bringing with them the training and confidence to sustain operations in one of the most challenging environments on Earth. Life on a nuclear submarine is one of the toughest experiences on Earth. Modern nuclear-powered submarines are feats of engineering, capable of staying hidden beneath the waves for weeks, even months, carrying out missions in complete secrecy while the surface world goes on, largely unaware of the forces moving silently beneath it. However, the exact duration of these missions is never fixed. It's determined by a complex balance of operational requirements, sea conditions, scheduled maintenance, and how often supplies can be replenished. 
Whenever the submarine pulls into port, the brief window of fresh air and open space becomes a rare escape from the claustrophobic confines of life underwater. Once the submarine is back underway, the crew immediately prepares for submersion, entering a cycle of complete isolation. In these moments, bonds between submariners are strengthened as the shared hardship and collective purpose forge a unique sense of family among the roughly 135 sailors on board. Every inch of space is carefully managed, yet crews still carve out room for treadmills, bikes, and resistance machines, ensuring sailors can maintain their fitness and endurance during long stretches beneath the ocean. Even with limited resources and space, American submarines house one of the most exclusive dining facilities in the world, accessible only to those serving deep beneath the surface. These galleys provide not just food, but a rare taste of normalcy, a connection to life ashore that is otherwise absent on deployment. Dining, even in this confined setting, remains a powerful source of morale we serve about 130 meals per day. And today you guys are here with us on Burger Day, also known as Field Day. So we have chocolate chip cookies for today. We've already been eating them, so. That's how you know they're good. Submarines have the best food in the Navy. Don't let anyone tell you anything otherwise. Within this small space, they craft everything from hearty Italian favorites to vibrant Mediterranean inspired dishes ensuring the crew experiences variety despite the monotony of submarine life. Living quarters, while undeniably cramped, are integrated with essential systems such as fire suppression to protect sailors in the event of disaster. Each rack comes with just a small compartment for personal belongings forcing sailors to adapt to a minimalist lifestyle for months at a time. So it's six people to every birthing until you go to like 18 man, which is a larger birthing, which is a larger living space. And it can get up to 34 people, depending on if they're hot wrecking, which means once one person goes on watch, the other person gets a chance to go to sleep. So I had to take off my shoes, I don't wanna That's pretty much how it's done. Like that, you see a bigger guy like me. But the good thing about a burden that's like up at this level, I can scoot up at night, have a little bit of room. I have my fan right here, my, my foot locker. Then when I'm ready to go to bed, I just scoot down, close my curtains, call it a night. Despite the tight quarters, birthing becomes a place of rest and routine, providing a sense of personal space in an otherwise high-pressure environment. Submarines are equipped with a small barber shop to help crew members maintain hygiene and grooming standards during long deployments. It is crucial to maintain strict cleanliness standards on a submarine where as many as 150 crew members share tight quarters for months at a time. In the fire control room, specialists meticulously track enemy movements and coordinate offensive weapons with computer-aided precision. Modern U.S. submarines can launch unmanned underwater vehicles, extending their surveillance, reconnaissance, and mine warfare capabilities while keeping crews out of harm's way. The torpedo room, a defining feature of any submarine, 
is reserved for the storage and deployment of torpedoes and other munitions, making it one of the vessel's most heavily secured compartments. Uh, we have four torpedo tubes. On the plus side screen, we have torpedo tubes two and four. So these right here are called dollies. These are 80 pounds. These are teddy bears. These actually could attach the uh, dollies on top of these so that we can move this in a stores position. As right now, we have uh, no torpedoes on board. This right here is the rail for our rabbits. And normally we don't move these, but we move the actual torpedoes. This goes all throughout the line of our tube loading and weapon um, handling tray. And with that, we use those to move the torpedoes. These are the DC battle landers. So it's called DC for damage control. So if we lose power, uh, we can use these to actually operate so that we can actually still see things using this DC lighting. Torpedo drills put submarines and their crews to the test. One method, called SYNCX, involves deploying live torpedoes to sink a decommissioned ship, simulating real combat conditions. And at the core of the submarine's operation lies the machinery room, where the propulsion systems and nuclear reactors silently drive the vessel across the ocean. Even in such a high-pressure environment, sailors carve out brief moments of reprieve. Leisure takes many forms, flipping through books, playing strategic games like chess, or immersing themselves in video games that provide a fleeting sense of escape from routine. Inside the sail, retractable masts emerge when needed, periscopes, for visual reconnaissance, communications arrays, radar systems, and weapon sensors that extend the submarine's awareness above the waterline. Each of these instruments serves a critical role from scanning for enemy ships and aircraft to discreetly gathering intelligence. This is the brain of the submarine called the control room. This is where we drive. Similar to that of an airplane, only instead of using air across of our wings, we use water across what we call our bow planes and stern planes. To submerge, the submarine uses main ballast tank vents filled with water, so we remain heavy enough to remain below. Submerging the ship is indicated by two blasts of the diving klaxon. Man overboard training on a submarine is a critical safety drill preparing the crew to react within seconds if someone falls into the sea during surfacing or topside operations. The exercise test communication, lookout vigilance, and recovery procedures, ensuring no life is left to chance in unforgiving waters. Fresh air aboard a submarine is not simply drawn in from outside. It is carefully manufactured using advanced oxygen generators paired with carbon dioxide scrubbers, ensuring that the crew can breathe safely even when submerged for months at a time. Water, too, is produced within the vessel through reverse osmosis systems that transform seawater into clean, drinkable fresh water, allowing the submarine to remain self-sufficient deep below the surface. Inside this sealed environment, there is an absolute zero-tolerance policy for fire, as even the smallest flame could be catastrophic in such a confined space. Unlike a surface ship, there are no windows here. The outside world is visible only through the periscope when near the surface and through sonar, which paints a picture of the ocean environment in total darkness. Sonar not only helps the crew navigate underwater, but also serves as their early warning system 
detecting other vessels long before they can be seen. This unique way of life forces submariners to build deep, trusting relationships, since they must live and work together in extreme proximity for months at a time. In fact, the longest recorded continuous submerged patrol by an Ohio-class submarine lasted more than 140 days. It's a testament to just how enduring this lifestyle can be. Daily life for the crew runs on a relentless schedule, broken into six-hour shifts that keep the submarine operating around the clock without pause. Officers make use of the periscope to monitor the surface while the vessel stays hidden below. But the absence of natural light often leaves sailors struggling with disrupted sleep patterns and chronic fatigue. At the top of the hierarchy is the commanding officer, known simply as the CO, who carries absolute authority and responsibility for every aspect of the ship, from the success of its mission to the well-being of every sailor on board. My role as a commanding officer is ultimately I'm responsible for everything that occurs on the ship uh, and I'm responsible for all the sailors on board the ship too. So that's quite a bit of responsibility, uh, but it's a very exciting challenge every day. Uh, so in those responsibilities, I'm responsible for, for training the crew uh, with the years of experience, about 16 years of experience that I have now in the submarine force uh, through the variety of different mission sets that we do. And then also looking out for their health, morale and welfare as well. Even the food served on board reflects the intensity of life below the waves. High calorie meals are essential to meet the energy demands of duty. But unlike surface duty stations, alcohol is strictly prohibited, as even minor impairment could endanger lives in a high risk, enclosed setting where precision and focus are non-negotiable. Discipline, vigilance, and resilience define submarine life, where every action carries weight and every decision matters. When in the Arctic, submarines operate in a frozen, hidden world that few ever witness. They can remain submerged for months surfacing only through thick ice when the mission demands it. During the ice exercise, submarines navigate beneath the Arctic ice, testing endurance, stealth, and crew skill. Once a submarine punches through the Arctic ice during ISEX, crews immediately begin testing the boat's systems to ensure it can function reliably in one of the planet's harshest environments. Today, the U.S. Navy fields approximately 70 nuclear-powered submarines, comprising fast attack boats, ballistic missile submarines, and guided missile platforms, underscoring its unmatched undersea strength and strategic reach. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content like this.